5.20 this morning when I uh, woke up from uh, a deep sleep and I heard a voice in the other room. And uh, she wasn't crying or anything. It was just a voice playing and making noise. And uh, I didn't know if I was supposed to, but I didn't care. I crept in there, <laughs> grabbed her, and took her downstairs. And we had an hour of grandpa and granddaughter time. <laughs> yeah, you made my day there, kiddo. Yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to talk about being awake and waking up, or being woke, as they say. And the lesson spoke to that uh, this morning, and that's a uh, theme uh, for Advent. Wake up. It's time. I was uh, talking this morning with uh, somebody about my age that said, do you ever read the, the obituaries and notice how uh, young the people are who are dying? <laughs> right? Yeah, when they're, when they're your age, it's, it's a wake-up call. It's, uh, it shakes you up, and it should wake you up and uh, alert you to the fact that, uh, look, if somebody else in their early 70s is dying, it could be you too. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Um, are your things in order? Um, in the uh, second reading, it talks about uh, being awake. Let us live honorably in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time for our world and our society to wake up from their sleep. And it's all too obvious, isn't it? When you look in the paper and see what's happening in our world, that people aren't awake. If you uh, follow the uh, American political process, and even though I'm still an American, I have dual citizenship, I can hardly watch what's going on there. The negative advertising. But one of the negative ads was against the people who are woke, okay? This came about in the Black Lives Matter uh, days. And uh, it's the idea that we need to be woken up from our sleep about certain social issues that we've never confronted and never faced and never even apologized to the people that were discriminated against. And it's not just the Black Lives Matter. There are so many other issues, including gender issues and, uh, and other issues that we're faced with that we just haven't woken up to. And the right has seized on this and says, this is not the way you should live your life. Let's live our lives the way we've always lived them. Asleep and not awake and not realizing the pain and suffering that is happening in our fellow mankind. It's time to wake up. There was a time at the flood when uh, it says uh, that uh, it was not a good time. People weren't awake in those days. And they, they lived their life according to the flesh and the things that made them happy and gave them pleasure. Those were the things that they lifted up. And God sent a flood that wiped out almost all the people on the earth. And when you look around and see all what's happening in the states, in particular, but here in Canada too, every week there's a mass shooting. And uh, every week you hear a very small voice coming from somebody that says we should do something about gun control. And then that voice is muffled. We can't do that. Do you know that there is a direct correlation with countries that have no control over guns and all of these mass shootings compared to other countries, including Canada? There's a direct correlation, right? Is our life any different here in Canada than it is in the States because we have more controls over guns? Are we any less happy? Are we any less free because of that? It's time to wake up. It's time for people to realize that the, the way we've been heading isn't the way we should be going. 
In the weeks uh, coming ahead, they're going to be talking about repentance. Okay? The word repentance means literally to stop walking in the direction that you've been walking and to turn around and walk in a new direction. To walk towards God and not towards the world. It's time for the world to wake up. And it's my fear that the world is doing anything but waking up. We're drifting further and further away from our faith, from spirituality, from uh, social justice, and getting more and more entrenched in the pleasures of this world. It was very disappointing last week when the uh, climate uh, conference in Egypt uh, fell apart with almost uh, no agreements whatsoever. And uh, what is it going to take? What's it going to take for the leaders of the world to realize that things aren't good? Okay. The climate is not in a good place. And are we going to wake up at a time when it's too late? Today is the time, this is the time of season, when we should become introspective and take a look at our own lives, see what direction we're heading into, see uh, where we spend most of our time, our energy, and our resources, and is this is the way, the direction that we want to go into. It's a time for us to be shaken by our roots and to realize we're not going to be here forever. Is everything in your family in order? Do your children know that you love them completely and unconditionally? Is your extended family as close as it could be? Is there a way we can reach out and bring people closer together? It's time to wake up. Amen. Mm -hmm.